Do you spend more than three hours of your precious time on social media like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and others? There are numerous advantages to social networking that are rarely discussed and have the potential to keep us engaged with individuals all around the world. It's incredible to be able to see new images of friends and family every day. Post and share some beautiful videos or send a quick message to someone to see how they're doing. Many stay-at-home moms, entrepreneurs, and side hustlers have made money through social media. However, there are some drawbacks to excessive social media use. Overusing social media networking sites can result in many health and personal relationship problems. The effects of social media addiction have become rare in this generation. Here are a few reasons why you should put down your phone and start participating in the old-fashioned thing known as the real world. The more time spent on social media can lead to some traumatic situations. Social media is addictive and can negatively impact your health by increasing feelings of depression, isolation, low self-esteem, poor work or school performance, social anxiety, cyberbullying, and even insomnia. If you find out that your relationship with social media is hurting you, you can try going on a digital detox or quitting social media for some time. Someone may ask, is deleting social media good for mental health? The answer is yes. Social media use can cause fear of missing out and a sense of inadequacy. This may lead to loneliness, anxiety, and depression. Signs that you may be addicted to social media include spending a large amount of time on social media, thinking about social media often when you're not using it, spending less time doing other activities, hobbies, or spending time with others in order to use social media. If you find yourself in this situation, take a deep breath and follow these steps in the video. Stepping away from social media may help reduce these anxiety and loneliness. Self-control is the only strategy for overcoming social media addiction. It's sad, isn't it? These are some tips that can help you control social media addictions. When you wake up in the morning, avoid checking your phone first. This habit will make a positive impact on you throughout your day. Try doing something you love to avoid the use of your phone frequently. Like reading, cleaning, and walking. Monitor your notification settings. Try turning off your notifications or keep your phone on mute most of the time. Make room for in-person conversations. If you need to talk to a friend or family, try to meet the person if possible. Temporarily deactivate accounts or you can also give someone else power over your accounts, you don't need to give it up completely. You can prevent partial access to certain things. Encourage good behaviors, limit social media use to a specific time. If you spend more than five hours a day on social platforms, you are twice more likely to suffer from depression and anxiety. Be mindful about this and make good decisions. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you know of any other tips, please leave it in the comments section.